Fred has recently graduated from college with a degree in journalism and economics. He has decided to pursue this. Achha. So Fred is typically awake from for 112 hours. So 112 hours he is away. For each hour he spends writing, he can earn 75 per hour is he his earning. Fred is such a good writer that he is paid for as many hours, but he chooses to spend 80 hours to play volleyball on the beach and rest in writing. So out of 112 hours, 80 hours, he does not work. He only works for the remaining hours. And for the number of hours he works, he gets 75. So you just multiply that and get the answer. Nothing else. Come to the next question. Erin would be willing to pay as much as 100 per week to have her house cleaned. This is good. Good question. So just see here, see when it is saying that she is willing to pay 100 per week to have her house cleaned, this is her willingness to pay, which is 100. Her opportunity cost of cleaning is 70 per week. If, okay, this is given as another person, uh, Ernesto, this is Erin. And Ernesto, he, his cost of cleaning is 70. If Ernesto cleans is for 80, Ernesto's producer surpluses. Just see here, okay? See, consumer surplus by definition is defined as willingness to pay minus the amount paid. So here she was willing to pay as much as 100. She just paid 80 for the services. So 100 minus 80, this is 20. This is consumer surplus. What she was willing to pay and what she paid. Producer surplus is amount received minus the willingness to work for, which means the opportunity cost at what you will work. So he could have worked for anything above 70 and he got 80 for his services. So he earned 10 more. So this is his producer surplus. So producer is 10. Had they asked for consumer, it would have been 20. Had they asked for total, it would have been 30. 